Ferenczy. Posił fizyczna mecze Ferenczy.
Floyd, 
It was late one fall night at a fairground near town when Esther first saw the Armenian man who groveled toward her and stood by her side with a bucket that swung in his hand. His grin stretched the folds of his pasty white cheeks, and his lips hurled a dollop of murk on the curb, and the lights from the rides showed a mischievous sparkle that flashed in his hollow-eyed stare. He said, little girl, you can chop off my legs and then peel off my socks if you want to, but I'd rather you took this old puppet from me that I hold in my pail as we speak. And he stood looking down at the innocent girl, and she stared at the bucket, bewildered. Then he lifted the doll for the young girl to see, and a giant smile grew on his face. She saw the doll's eyes, and she couldn't resist, and she thanked the man quickly and ran to the church. And she burst through the doorway with puppet held high, and a hush filled the chapel, and the people looked mean. Esther tried in vain to pacify the mob Quibble grew to spat, to wrangle, then to brawl The frenzied congregation struggled desperately to fetch The pretty puppet snugly nestled deep in Esther's leather sack Through the window of the church a storm began to rage And Esther knew the time had come to flee Scurried down the aisle toward the doorway in the distance And out into the rainstorm where she felt she would be free But the wind was blowing harder and her skirt began to billow Until finally her feet began to lift And she rose above the houses and the people and the chimneys And Esther and the doll were set adrift and treetops, they flutter and glide, soaring and turning, suspended on air, with the earth far below them, they tumble and dive through the clouds.
tumble her through until she landed in the nasty part of town. About the village, sure to find the evil men who rob and pillage in the darkest hour of night. Nervously she fumbled for the pouch that held the puppet on her own. Feeling quite outnumbered, Esther hid behind a nearby pile of lumber where she waited till the dawn. Cause it would have been a blunder to succumb to a villain on the prowl. dog with a brain of brass. In the 
For those of you who have never seen us, this next song is called Alumni Blues.
Passing through the corridor, I came upon an aging knight who leaned against the wall in gnarly armor. He was on his way to see the king. Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. He led me through the streets of Prussia talking as he tried to crush a bug that scurried underneath his boot heel. He said there was a place where we should go. So, so he led me through the forest to the edge of a lagoon by which we wandered till we reached a bubbly spring. The night grew very quiet as we stood there. He lifted up his visor and he turned to me and he began to sing. He said, I come from the land of darkness. He said, I come Secrets of eternal joy and never-ending splendor. The trick was to surrender to the flow. We walked along beneath the moon. He led us through the bush till soon. We saw before our eyes a raging river. He said we can swim it if we try. The night of wind, forgetting that his suit of arms would surely weigh him down, and so he sunk. And as his body disappeared before me, I found my head in silence and remembered all the thoughts that he had thunk. He said, I come from the land of darkness. I said, I come from the land of doom.
friends of mine I can see right through You don't gotta tell me I don't gotta move Cause I'm just sitting back here Shh. 